I'm very clear that it is always God that you give glory to. And so if I brag, I would probably brag in that. It's, it's a good moment. I think so. And I think it is, a, it is a wonderful moment. We're very excited to be at this place at this time. I think it has done a lot for Emmanuel Christian Academy. Um, we, we know we are a school of choice. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is a good thing. And uh, we have been able to excel in other areas, um, academics, um, in other sporting areas. Mm -hmm. But to take first place in the championship, the track and field championship, has been a major coup for the school. For the last two years, we have not had the opportunity to do track and field in any serious way. We try and still run up and down the field, and we thank God for the field that we have. So we've had that. We've had sports day, but it's very, it has been very low keyed. But to have had track begin in January of this year and to see the talents emerge. And uh, I think our sports day at the end, at the beginning of April, was when we really saw the talents and the gifts that the Lord has blessed these children with. So that's been very exciting because a lot of it has been, um, it's there but it has been suppressed because of the pandemic. So to see them blossom, and not just blossom, but blossom to the point where they can actually take the trophy, that is fantastic. This year we plan um, the uncertainty of whether we're gonna have a prep champs or not was, was made planning difficult once we realized that we were gonna be having a prep champs to start the plan. How are we gonna execute what we're gonna do this year? Um, we didn't know if we were going to win. We didn't see all the opponents. We knew we had a good team. We had a good set of athletes based on what we saw on sports day. So we started to plan. Uh, we got others on board. Uh, Bridget Foster Hilton worked with the, the, the hurdles. We got Gavin James who worked with the jumpers. And we knew that if we had multiple athletes in multiple events across all disciplines, once we scored, we'd have a good opportunity to win. So we got a decent enough management team because we it's difficult to win champs without a proper management team and those are persons who work behind the scene so people say Gregory Jones is the head coach but there are persons who have other roles and responsibilities in the team that they are not seeing but they, they contribute to the holistic um, you know program that we have here at, at Emmanuel. Well what is it that you did differently this year? You have to be balancing academics with the sports, you were coming out of a pandemic, yes. we still had certain protocols. So, so what was it that was so, what did you do differently this year that, that got you over that finish line? Let me tell you what I think I would say in terms of our sports program at Emmanuel Christian Academy, we've never stopped. Oh. That has remained consistent over the years. And so we start at the very young age. So even with this competition, you'll find that many of our younger children may not have meddled, but they contributed to the success. And that is um, what I would say is what carries the school. The fact that we start with them very young and we continue to build our sports program. So it's not as a matter of this year that the difference was made. We have in every opportunity that the coaches have just to get the children out running, doing track. We have PE twice a week. That is something that we take very seriously. The children love it, but it is important to us. And also, one. Of, so for me, it is more um, something that we have that is ingrown in our culture in terms of training up the children physically. So this is really like an icing on the cake. It is something we do all the time. It's not something we did differently. We have always done this and we've always built um, our sports program. And so a lot of um, kudos, I would say, to Coach Jones. He's always looking for ways in which he can start with the team as young children and to build them to where they are. By the end of the first day, what were the point standings like? We were ahead by four points. All right. um, we were ahead of, of Peter and Paul. Now we knew what Peter and Paul had to offer before the championships because we saw them at the development meet, the only development meet that there was. We didn't know what Heidel had, you know, 
because they were we, they came into the meat blind we didn't see them nobody saw what Heidel was bringing to the table when we saw what they were you know what they had we knew we had a shot at winning this championship and as I said to the management staff if there's a year to beat Heidel it would have been this year we had the numbers we had the quality we just needed to execute at what point did you feel confident were you thinking that boy with four more events to go if we even lose these ones at what point did you know that you had the championship in the bag well i won't say that we knew we had the championships in the bag the tide swung emmanuel in emmanuel's favor after the hurdles we what, 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 where was that halfway through the second day that or? was halfway through the second day mm -hmm. Because we were behind Peter and Paul by six points, mm -hmm. we gained 21 points in the hurdles, oh. and that swung the tide to our favor. And then Idel did not score as much or as many points in the hurdles as was predicted for them to score, and so we knew the tide would have shifted. Then we were in every relay finals, and I said to the team, once we finish the relays ahead of our competitors then we would have won the championship we scored heavily in the relays and that was what brought us over the line my name is Mikala rose i'm 12 years old and i took part in the events on 100 meter 200 meter four by two and four by one and how well did you do well i didn't come first in um, in the finals i made it to the finals at least but i didn't come first in the finals but um, I came second in each, and I received three second place medals. And how did that make you feel? I felt great. I didn't um, achieve what I wanted, which was to come first in all my races. I didn't get that, but I was proud of my performance. Tell us about the race that you took part in, Caleb. I ran the 100 meter, the 200 meter, four by one, and I did long jump. Oh, and how did you do in, in, in those? I've got gold in all of them. Whoa, that's impressive. So remind us, you were what, champion athlete? Or? Yes. No, tell us about that, man. How did that make you feel? I felt good, and the races were very fun, because there were some very fast people, and I enjoy running against people at my level of speed. So at the end of the day, you were sitting on four gold medals. Yes. Whoa. What did that, what did that feel like? You, you were champion at least for the meet, or? Yes, yes. Okay. Wow. It was a tough two days for all the athletes. Mm -hmm. Caleb um, Taylor, Joshua Scott, who tripled in, in terms of events, um, Michael Rose, um, Abigail Brown, they all did well. This was the class one team that literally carried the bulk of the points for this school. And Mark Daniel um, Allen. What has this done for the school? Um, a lot. A lot. I think every little kid in this school will dream. We want them to dream. We want them to set goals, as I tell my athletes. And we set goals, attainable goals. And it helps. Just the morale of the school has been lifted. We've been locked down for two years. And as Ms. Dawes had said, we continue with the program. Some parents are skeptical because of COVID, and that's understandable. But this has brought the community together as a school, and it has lifted the morale of all the students, from the kindergarten straight up. Now they will dream bigger than they've ever dreamt before.